The San Diego Convention Center is a pop culture smorgasbord this week. It's about the comics, the movies, the stars, the costumes, the video games, the fans, but most of all, it's about the money. Now inside the convention center is where a lot of the business of Comic-Con happens. But if you look over here, you'll see the convention actually spills out into downtown San Diego. And of course that creates business there as well. This whole area is completely different during the Comic-Con show. So we're just part of that. Major media companies have changed the face of the gas lamp. Stores, buildings, the trolley, even local eateries have transformed. Who and Mickey's turned their bar and grill over to a gaming company. GameSpot will be having a live stage show out on the patio area, and then we've partnered with some um, sponsors that are bringing some popular gaming titles. Hotels are cashing in, pedicab drivers, and restaurants. Nathan Wing is the manager of Toscana Cafe, just a block from the convention center. He says it's a week of non-stop business. We open at 6 a.m., we close at 11, and we have a line at the door from all points of the day. Uh, it's a lot of fun though. The crowd they bring is a really nice crowd. It's a great atmosphere. It's great to be in the gas lamp quarter. Comic-Con will generate $75 million in direct spending this week, more than $2.6 million in tax revenue. San Diego State University professor Myro Kopik says it's worth even more than that. So you have a marquee event, and obviously when you have a lot of media from outside of San Diego, they're going to showcase, number one, uh, the, the tourist value of San Diego as a whole. But I think more importantly, what it shows, and, and if San Diego does this effectively as a city and a convention and visitors bureau, really showcase San Diego from a business perspective.